All right. Stage has been set. I have to check my levels. Levels seem good. Take a sip. Welcome you to a Monday. Yeah, it's very exciting, I know. These happen pretty frequently. As someone's knocking on the window outside downstairs. Um, let me take another sip. This stuff is awful. Blood Orange Bliss tastes like medicine. That's a totally silly topic, so it has nothing to do with what we're doing today, which are states. The state today, I even forgot it existed, even though I actually did <clears throat> a video on this back when I went on my vacation. Oh, so long ago. For Rhode Island. It's a very tiny state. Um, the smallest state, to be precise. Funnily enough, the whole state is actually named after this island, which is actually called Rhode Island. Or actually, um, Aquidneck, A-Q-U-I-D-N-E-C-K, which is a very weird word for a, uh, for an island, but, you know, there's so many islands there, you run out of names, and you gotta come up with other stuff. I'm trying to get to that water tower, because maybe it'll actually say where we are within this tiny place, but, um, chair, that doesn't help me. Chair five. The break. Okay, well, we're near the water, but that doesn't help me because the vast majority of this entire uh, state is island. North 108, Iggy's Doughboy and Chowder House. Ooh, didn't seem to make it. The Naringasset Times, which is actually this, is Naringasset Bay. Although, maybe since it is small enough, I may be actually able to see this uh, 108 on here. Um, not seeing it, which is already disheartening. Let's just take a look real quick, see if I can't see it. Now we're going to have to zoom in. Excuse me as I quietly burp. Carbonation will do that to you. Oh, it's still fighting. I probably should have drank water instead of the soda, but, you know, hindsight being 2020. I still do not see 108. There's 108. Okay. So we're over here. Are we like near near Gasset Pier? Uh, how long is the 108? Is that the end of it? Is this it? That hardly seems worthy of a uh, root signage, but. Um. Spain of Nearing Gas at, oh, the break. Okay, so we were there. So I'm going to hit home. <clears throat> Find out the name of the street because I think Ocean Spray Avenue. Okay. Ocean Spray Avenue. We are, I think, exactly right there. If I can just bump it over here, Third Street. Okay, yeah, we are. I can't get any closer than that. I might be off by 10 feet, which will probably be 1,000 points because this state is so tiny. Anyway, for the next minute, I'll let you take a look at the view here down this wonderful coast. I'll zoom out a bit so you can see some. All right. The state of Rhode Island. It is the ocean state. Apparently, it's also called Little Rhodey, which seems weird to me. Its motto is hope, which, you know, I guess it was an early state. They were thinking fancy. If you look at some of the other states, this one's just, oh, we're hope. And the anthem is apparently Rhode Island's It For Me. When was this made? Because this screams of the 20s. Adopted as a state song in 1996, so what do I know? Anyway, it's the, uh, before statehood, it was called the Colony of Rhode Island and the Providence Plantations. Uh, we'll get to the plantation thing after the next location we go to. It was the 13th state admitted to the Union on May 29th, 1790. Its capital, as we will zoom out just a smidge here so I can show you again, is its largest city, which is uh, Providence, as you can see here. Um, 5,000 points, I'm happy with that. Uh, Rhode Island is a very tiny state, the tiniest state, um, bordered on north and east 
by Massachusetts, south with the Atlantic, and west is Connecticut. Um, as you see here, one of the New England states, it is, total area is only 1,214 square miles, which is 3.1 square kilometers, 50th, dead last. Um, let's see here, its length and width is 48 miles across, which is 77 kilometers, width is 30, length is north-south. So that's 40, 77 kilometers north-south. Width is 37 miles east-west, which is 60 kilometers. Highest elevation is 200 feet. No, its elevation average is 200 feet. The highest one is called Jerimuth Hill, which is only 812 feet tall. And lowest elevation, I think you can guess. Population is just over a million, which um, ranks it at 44th. It is the second most dense state in the Union, though. A lot of people get packed into there. Uh, median household income is 63000 which is 16th. And that's it for little mm, basic facts for the place. Now, as I mentioned, um, its official name before it became um, a state, as it was a colony, was... Oh, sorry. Phone. Uh, Rhode Island and the colony of Rhode Island and the Providence Plantation. So it's apparently kind of like every state has like its official name, like you take the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania or the Commonwealth of Virginia, but we just call them Virginia but short, uh, for short. Um, and Rhode Island's is Rhode Island and the Providence co uh, Plantations, which very much has a... Uh, Bad connotation, at least. What does this say? Oh, no, through trucks. Okay, so this feels kind of like a power plant, or is this a power treatment plant? Pepe Cookie 7, 10, 19. This looks like a former radio station. This happens a lot, too. At least where I'm, around where I am, it's a lot of <clears throat> either former farmland or just up in fields kind of convert into these uh, solar power farms and... I guess I, I guess I make some pretty good money. Um, one of my doc. This is a tangent on a tangent here. But my uh, teacher I had when I was in seventh grade, which was uh, nineteen ninety eight. No, it was two thousand. Sorry. Uh, nineteen ninety nine slash two thousand was that school year. Uh, can I see what this sign says? We are in fall. Uh, we are post most of the trees losing their leaves, so this is probably late October. This gentleman is still wearing shorts. Um, I think he's just lifting rocks. I mean, it's got to be a pretty nice day out. I'm really wishing today was this weather right now, because it's, it's pretty nice out. Oh, it must be close or after Halloween, because this is either someone's very eccentric or it's around Halloween. Generally, if this was, I would have to guess maybe uh, mid-October. Anyway, so the official name for the state, I'm, I have no idea where we are. It's more solar power farms. This is just little side roads, and I'm not getting like, okay, I do have a use Green Hill Road for Aztecs to RI, Rhode Island Regional Medical Center, I'm guessing. And I see where we are. They got some hot wieners. Very important. And some steak sandwiches. I can just feel the, uh, I don't know what New York system hot dogs are. That sounds weird. Like it's, it's a style of martial art, but it's a um, hot dog thing. Salisbury Farm. Oh, we have a corn maze. Never been to one. All right. Can I get? A sign as to where we are. This looks like a welcome to. It's just Urban Edge. Pippin Road, Road, Urban Ledge Farm, South Side Community Land Trust, which makes me think if this is Providence, we are. Hmm. A lot of this is pretty uh, urbanized, so I don't know. 
but I'm just going to put us down maybe in like Cranston or something like over here. This is a weird one. Um, let's get back out into this road. Maybe I can eek something out in eight seconds. I don't think so. Let's see how close I was. I'm probably not, but oh, there was signs up there. Okay. So we weren't that far off, but it's only nine kilometers, but this state is so tiny. That is a huge penalty. Anyway, so as I said before, it was the um, colony of Rhode Island and the uh, Providence Plantations. So plantations kind of has a bad connotation, if you're not aware, usually having to do with plantations in the South, therefore slavery. So there's been attempts to change the name, and um, let's see, there was a push back in 2009 to have a referendum whether or not Aunt Providence Plantation should be dropped from the name. And the reason that people were pushing that is because um, it's symbolized the slavery of dis disenfranchi disenfranchisement for many Rhode Islanders, as well as proliferation of slavery in the colonies and post-colonial U.S. Advocates for retaining the name argue that plantation was simply an archaic synonym for colony and bore no relation to slavery. So I guess if you understand it in context, but if you were just to tell a person on the street who maybe didn't have a knowledge of the history and or location of Rhode Island, I think their connotation might be a little bit different. Anyway, the referendum was held in 2010, and it was overwhelmingly voted to retain it. However, on June 18th, 2020, a State Senator sponsored a notion in the state that would allow for another ballot referendum to remove Providence Plantations. And it passed unanimously since the uh, George Floyd protests, if you've been paying attention to the news. Um, let's see here. And it's going to be put... Actually, uh, yeah, there was a vote. And if it does pass... Um, uh, no, there, there, there was a referendum for it to be passed to be put on consideration for the next general ballot. And then on June 22nd, 2020, the governor issued an executive order to remove the phrase itself. So he didn't wait for the election. He just went ahead and did it himself. There will be a quick pause. So I'm just going to do a quick edit out of this video. But you won't notice. I'll just say, and we're back. And then we'll be back. Okay. How long has it been? Has it been a year? A month? A couple of days? Do I sound older? We'll never know. Will we? Ooh, excuse me. Carbonated beverages probably are a bad thing to do when recording, but hindsight, it's 2020. Anyway, back to it. So, if we talk about the history, as in, what this place was like back during colonial and pre-colonial times. I think you have a pretty good idea. I can't make out whatever the seal is of the town we're in. But this looks to be old factory, maybe a textile or steelwork or something. Native Americans owned it. Well, we're here first. Quote, unquote. Instantly school buses, huh? They tear all the shit down. I want to. I want to go back here. I need to pause for a cough. How many years apart was this? This this thing's throwing me for a loop, and it really shouldn't. Okay, very little trees, very little trees. Holy shit. Uh, Cumberland. Yeah. Cumberland, Rhode Island. I have no idea where that is. I don't know if it's... Oh, Cumberland's right up here. How about that? Now, whether or not I'm going to find it, I don't know. But, history. Um, the Native Americans were here, but there was a gentleman by the name of Roger Williams who was banished from the Massachusetts Bay Colony for his... Radical religious views, according to the Puritans who were living there, because they were booted out for having weird-ass 
um, views themselves in Europe. So like, yo, let's go somewhere else. So if this guy had outrageous reviews to the outrageous, well, outrageous views to the outrageous people, it's got to be out there. But it's all subjective. Access machining. What is this place? I want a road sign. This is a very unkempt side of the road here. This feels very summery. Can I go forward? Thank you. Anyway, he was, I believe, a Puritan, Puritan minister, theologian, and author who founded the Providence Plantations. He was a staunch advocate for religious freedom, separation of church and state, and fair dealings with the Native American Indians. So, I guess people there in Massachusetts didn't like his free love. Very radical, as you can tell. Um, he settled on top of Narragansett Bay, which is uh, probably around, well, the top of it's up here, so eh, around there somewhere. Let me take a sip again. I think I've got a pretty good idea to where we are, but that bus could have sent me for a loop, but I think, eh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with this, although we did just cross a body of water. So, um, mm, I don't know. Bear Hill Road? Maybe if I click there. Um, I'm really hoping to find a road sign here, but you can see kind of like this is a very weird chunk of town. There's a lot of industry abandoned, boarded up. This had a roof collapse. Um, just neglect. Seem a lot of this stuff seems to be from, and maybe as late as the fifties, maybe earlier. But then he got just. This looks to be a. Uh, it's a, on a repair shop. Just, kind of like unkempt, like it's not completely falling apart, but it's just eh. It's there. We. Don't need to keep the upkeep so much on it. All right, so we weren't that far off. We were in a wound socket, apparently. And by not that far off, we are very far off. Very surprising. Anyway, so that's where it originally was, is up here, which probably is pretty close to where uh, Providence is now. Um, let's see here. It was the first... Um, the first colony to actually reject um, English rule, but they were very late to the party as far as signing it. They were the last, um, the last state or last colony to become a state, which seemed a bit weird. Anyway, we nailed it in that first one, and then just done subpar since then. It's a nice way to put it. Um, yeah, as far as notable firsts, you know, every state has their, like, little claim to fame. So I'm going to sneeze because everything's happening to me during this recording. Excuse me. Rhode Island has been the first in a number of initiatives. As you uh, mentioned before, it was the first to reject British Crown rule. Um, it was the first, um, uh, uh, let's start that sentence again. Rhode Island has been the first in a number of initiatives. The colony of Rhode Island and the Providence Plantations enacted the first law prohibiting slavery on May 18th, 1652. It's one of their, I guess, probably like charter beliefs. Um... It was in the first act of armed rebellion in America against the British Crown was the boarding and burning of the revenue schooner Gatsby in Narragansett Bay on June 10th, 1772. Uh, come on, roadsides. Give me, give me something here to work with. Um, the idea of a Continental Congress was first proposed at a town meeting in Providence on May 17th, 1774, two years later. Uh, Rhode Island elected the first delegates to the Continental Congress on June 15th, 1774. Maybe we got something here. No. Primrose Valley Gardens. I guess you were a 
nursery at some point for some plants, but not so much anymore. The Rhode Island General Assembly created the first standing army in the colonies, which was about 1,500 men in April 22nd of 1755. The first naval engagement took place in the American Revolution between American Sloop uh, against a British frigate. Uh, let's see here. General Assembly also created the American Navy when it commissioned the Sloops and armed them. Rhode Island was the first colony to declare independence from Britain on May 4th, 1776. So they did a lot of firsts. Little tiny, tiny island and the uh, plantations around it were the first ones to be like, yo, we're, we're out. Let's see here. The first successful cotton spinning mill was in Pawtucket, which, uh, where is Pawtucket? I've seen it, but it's, it's north of Providence. Because it's just like with a lot of the other northern states, at least with, during colonial times and 19th century, was, it was all industrial and textile in the north with agriculture in the south. And no road signs on the road we're on right now, so I have no idea where we are. Give me something, please. You're a tiny state. I know it's not very hard. You can't get lost in Rhode Island. I'm sure of it. Although, let's see that for sale sign. Yeah, seeing, looking at this, <clears throat> apologies for the sniffle that just popped up on me. Seeing this weather that we're driving through right now makes me really wish that it was that time right now, as I mentioned before, instead of this south on Rhode Island 5. Now the problem is, I think this is, is this the 5? This is the 5. Now the problem, I'm sure, is the 5 probably goes on forever. Although, maybe it pairs up with the 1. Okay, it stays. Oh my god. I just saw how much time I had left. <laughs> I just wanted to get it down. Oh, that was that was close. Uh, the street in Newport, which let's see, Newport is south. Yeah, Newport right here was the first in America to be illuminated by gaslight in eighteen o six. The first strike in the U.S. in which women participated was in Pawtucket. Uh, some of this other stuff. It's yeah. First car race was held in Cranston, which is right in yeah. We actually apparently clicked very close to. Yeah, we did amazing to start with, but now now it's now it's awful, and I don't think it's going to get any better here. Uh, myself, I've only been to, I've driven through Rhode Island once, and I think no, I think I've been to Plymouth, which isn't. And Rhode Island, which I some my brain somehow just no province town, been a province town, but not Providence. My brain likes to confuse the two because they sound similar. I've only driven through Rhode Island once, and I do not remember it because I was in a vehicle with a friend as we were driving to their his sister who worked in Connecticut, and we decided to take a bit of a scenic tour through. Uh, uh, Rhode Island, and I think we were too busy playing Tiger Woods PGA Tour 97 on a PS2. He had attached through many different conversions and converters through a charging port in the car. Uh, how we didn't kill the battery in the car because we had that going and AC cranked, I'll never know, but I didn't care at the time we were playing Tiger Woods. So I have very little to say about Rhode Island other than it was like, oh, we were through that quick, but it was also, oh, God. Not making this mistake. Even though I said 2020, it was probably just when the copyright was renewed on the photos, not so much when the photos were taken. Ooh, what is this? What are we selling? What are we selling? Is this like a honor system nursery? Why can't I get a good shot? Oh, they're just flowers. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of like honor system things. Ooh, we do have a section of sorts. This sign is probably just saying Exeter. I thought that was like a crime watch thing. Like, you're being watched in this neighborhood. 
I, there's too many trees here. I can't tell if we're like in the north uh, west of the state or for like an island, and it's just going to be impossible to see. Although, ooh, 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 we do have some pretty good. Okay, we are in Exeter. I don't know where the hell Exeter is. I'm gonna, oh, Exeter's right here. Okay. So we're on Glen Rock in Mail Road. How big is Exeter? I'm going to put us here just so we're close. Glen Rock Road. I'm not seeing it. But I think maybe most people's connection to uh, to Rhode Island may be like something you might have heard in passing in pop culture of some sorts. Um, which, you know, Family Guy, if you ever watched that or at least heard of it, it's supposed to take place in Quahog, which doesn't exist, I believe, as a actual place. But Rhode Island does. They, they live in Rhode Island. That's where the show takes place. Uh, there were some other little snippets here. Where is it? Mm. I think it's mainly it. Pop culture. Here we go. Uh, works at the Pawtuck Pawtucket Brewery. Um, some sh movie called High Society, which apparently is a classic, because anything that happens before the year 1970 is a classic by default. Uh, was filmed in Newport. Great Gatsby was filmed in Newport. Uh, I don't know who Dan, Don Bosquet is. He was a cartoonist who's apparently from Providence, or Rhode Island itself. Okay, so we weren't that far off, at least over the halfway point. On Trips Corner Road. Can I see the road we actually ended up out on? I don't see it. Glen Rock Road, so we kind of putzed our way down to here. Okay. So that's this little tiny state. Somehow we got here um, with some hiccups in the middle. Although that was probably the only noise I didn't make myself. Um, we made it to the end. Congratulations. I'd like to thank you all for watching and taking your time to peruse through the state. I was very surprised we didn't get that much um, ocean view in any of the picks, but that'll happen sometimes. If you appreciated the silly little video I just made, uh, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell me, tell your thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions of any kind, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll read them and get back to you. There is a video coming out. Originally, it was supposed to be a thing for the whole week where I was going to chop it up, but it would have ended up with one video being almost 50 minutes and the rest being like 15, 20, and that felt weird. I tried breaking it up anymore, so I said, fuck it, it's almost an hour and a half, it's coming out tomorrow. So, if you want to watch that, go right ahead. But if not, we'll at least see you again on Wednesday for some more Guessing Geography. So much more of the world we have to see. We can't stop till we see Every spot, ever. It's a tall order. We'll see if we can do it. Goodbye.